Greetings, this is Superintendent A. Russell Hughes with your May monthly update. Can you believe it? It is the final monthly update in this 22-23 school year. It has been a wonderful year, and I want to say to you, I'm so proud of this Walton County School District, every stakeholder. You all have been phenomenal. This is what I want to encourage you, find, knowing that this is the final month of the school year. Let's finish the year in epic fashion, just like we started it. We know that when we started this year, we were able to roll out some of the accomplishments we made, including being the number three school district in the state of Florida when it comes to assessments. The number three school district in the state of Florida when it comes to grades, because we, own, we have no schools in Walton County that grade lower than a B. Only four other school districts out of the 67 in the state of Florida can say that. And I'm so proud to lead the charge in the Walton County School District to say, yes, we work for this, these kinds of accolades and it's going well. Let me be the one that's able to say we finished the year in epic fashion. That also includes rollouts of accolades that happened throughout the year, like being number three in graduation. That doesn't come by happenstance. It was intentional. It took great work. It took great leadership and it took great collaboration. Listen, I want to say to all of our stakeholders, every parent, every business owner, every community member, every student, teacher, faculty, staff, bus driver, secretary, cafeteria worker, it has been a phenomenal year and we could not have arrived at, arrived at this kind of status without you. Let's make sure all together when it comes to being epic, excellent, professional, innovative, and collaborative, let's make sure we end this year in epic fashion. I'm counting on you. We can do it. We started that way. Let's finish that way. Well, let me kind of give you some things. When we talk about people who are key to epicness, I want you to help me recognize the teachers of the Walton County School District. May 8th through May 12th, that's the first full week uh, of May that we recognize and appreciate our teachers. Let's make sure each and every educator knows how appreciated they are. Every teacher, every bus driver, every secretary. I want to say that. I know this Teacher Appreciation Week, we honor and respect and recognize our teachers first and foremost. But I want to bring this to a holistic view, and my community is helping us doing that. I want every educator in the Walton County School District to know that our community, our leaders, our agencies, our political officers know the great work that's being done in Walton County School District. So this is what I'm doing. I've asked our community to do this several years ago. Ms. Hughes has worked on this. We're doing a great thing here, and I'm proud to announce that a little bit later. So teachers and families, uh, teachers, please welcome this kind of appreciation, this attention. You deserve it. Families, community, help me make it special for every teacher. Students, do me a favor. Don't tell the teachers this part. Write them a little note to let them know how much they've impacted your life how much you appreciate them, how much you love them, how much you thank them for getting you where you are. We're on a great path to even greater things in the Walton County School District, and we know that it's our teachers that make it happen. Let me go ahead and say this. I do understand and know that now the Walton County School District is the largest uh, employer in Walton County. So I want you to know that we have teachers who are always uh, going throughout matriculating into our county. When you see them this week, especially the week of eight, May 8th through 12th, tell them thank you. Tell them you recognize them. Tell them how much you appreciate them. One writer said, and the author is unknown, that teaching is the one profession that creates all other professions. We know that. Every doctor had a teacher. Every lawyer had a teacher. Every politician had a teacher. Every superintendent had a teacher. And I want to thank all of our teachers. You make it happen. I'm proud of you. I get choked up a little bit because I started this journey as a teacher some 32 years ago, and I'm proud to have stayed and remained in this great profession. There is no other profession that gets the fulfillment out of out, uh, anywhere outside of education than a teacher, a school district employee, cafeteria workers, everyone. We appreciate you. I love you. Congratulations. We honor and recognize you. Also, we want to honor and recognize uh, during National Nurses Week, May 6th through 12th, the health and safety of children. Thank you, nurses, for all you do. I had an opportunity to take some pictures with nurses this past month, and I want to show those. They'll be coming out soon. We appreciate you. God bless you. Many people don't know 
those students who are in the community that represent uh, health challenges in our community. They come to school and we need great nurses to take care of them. Thank you nurses for what you do. Also, I wanna say that this is Mental Health Awareness Month. Guidance counselors are first point of contact when it comes to these kinds of challenges. And I wanna thank our guidance counselors for the work you do. That's why we're recognizing all of our educators in the Walton County School District, all of our employees in the Walton County School District during Teacher Appreciation Week and Month because we know it takes all of us to make what's happening in the Walton County School District happen in epic fashion. Mental health counselors assigned uh, to every school, we wanna thank you for the work you do to support us. Again, you're a part of our team. You're a part of our success. And I wanna recognize you during this teacher appreciation week and month. You'll hear more about that a little bit later. Well, listen to this, May 14th is Mother's Day. I get a little choked up about this. This is gonna be my second year, uh, me without my mom. And I wanna say to our students, our families, our teachers, whomever, that's, that's looking at this video, you only have one mom. You cannot be replaced. Love that mom you have. Care for them. Respect them and learn from them. My mama taught me so many lessons about life. I cherish them, I hold them close and dear to my heart. I'll never forget them and I wanna tell everyone. And yes, I'm, I'm, I'm getting older, but I tell you what, I still miss mom and I still cherish the moments I have with my mother. Honor and respect your mother. It'll do great things for you in this life. Trust me, I know it from experience. May 26th is the last day for students. That's right, students, May 26th, start your summer. I'm gonna come to you with a summer goodbye and tell you some of the things to remind you about staying safe because we want you to come back next year and we don't want you to risk your life, risk your travel, risk your uh, freedom because of things we don't think about. I understand what it is to be a teenager. I understand what it, be, what it is to be an inquisitive elementary student. I understand what it is to be a middle schooler in which I was also principal. So I wanna make sure I remind you some things to keep in mind during the summer so that you can all return next year to the greatest school district in the state of Florida. Well, also, we know that we could not have these freedoms that we enjoy if it were not for Memorial Day. May 29th is Memorial Day. We wanna honor and show our respect for all of those in our community who lost their lives serving our country. My dad and my brother were veterans, so I wanna say thank you to every family that has been impacted by uh, those who gave and served so that we might have a place to go to school. We might have a free place to go to work. Thank you to every family that experienced personally Memorial Day. I'm speaking in the community at one of the, um, at one of the events. I look forward to it. God bless you all. Let's think about those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. May 30th is the teacher work day and last day for teachers. Teachers, listen, there's no way we could have had this great year without you specifically. I clearly understand and never shall I forget what it was to be in a classroom. That's why I visit your classrooms when I come to your school. And I understand where the rubber meets the road. And you make it happen. You made it happen this year. I'm proud of you. Hold on. Hold on, I've asked those students to be nice to you. Hold on to the end of the year. We're all ready to get to the summer. So teachers, hold on. Let's make sure we end this year in epic fashion and we can all go and enjoy a great summer. Well, when it talks about, when, when we talk about finishing the year, it is culminated with what we call graduation. Those commencement ceremonies. I'm so proud of those who are gonna walk across that stage, shake my hand, say goodbye to their local school, but say hello to the, to the world that they are prepared uh, to, 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 to go into and do great things. You're gonna be great. I wanna say congratulations and recognize those schools. May 18th, seven o'clock, Paxton graduation. May 19th, seven o'clock, Freeport High School graduation. Congra graduation, yes. May 20th, seven o'clock, South Walton High School graduation. May 23rd, 4 p.m., Intensity School of Excellence graduation. May 23rd at 7 p.m., Walton High School graduation. Congratulations to all of our seniors. You've worked hard. It's you that helped us, helped us make it to this kind of standard of education. We would not be number three if you would not have responded to rigorous instruction. If you would not have done your best on these state assessments, it is you that helped us make the way. You did it. We just guide it, and we're so glad to be a part of you. We're so glad to send you off into a world that's ready for great innovators, ready for great epic-minded children, 
who've been prepared to go into a great world and compete globally in whatever you desire. We are committed to making sure we're preparing the whole child for a life of success. Whatever that success is for you, go make it happen. If it is a teacher, go make it happen. If you want to be a lawyer, go make it happen. If you want to be a doctor, superintendent, preacher, whatever it is, go make it happen. You're prepared. You're ready. And we're going to sit back and relax and know that our world is in good hands because we have students in Walton County School District walking across those graduation stages at commencement, going to make the world a greater, better place. God bless you all. Congratulations. Well, when I talk about when I talk about uh, graduation ceremonies, I want to remind everyone that state assessments are on the horizon beginning May 1. State assessments and end of year exams. Be sure to check with your school. Parents, make sure you communicate it. Watch those uh, social media platforms that your school provide for you to know when your students are taking assessments, taking exams, taking EOC. We want our students to, again, end the year in epic fashion. And that happens when they are ready. I'm going to give you a special update and some, and some keys to help us out during this uh, time of, of year so that our students can do what they need to do, show what they know, and make sure we stay high when it comes to performance in the Walton County School District compared to other school districts in the state of Florida. When it comes to athletics, I want to talk to you about this. We have some great uh, students who performed and made some achievements when it comes to ac uh, ac uh, athletics. Thank you. Brock Mitchell Walton High School made the state in tennis. Congratulations, Brock. We're so proud of you. South Walton High School girls tennis uh, went to state. Uh, and, and we know that they're going to do well. Perhaps uh, you've already competed when this video comes out, but we are proud of you already. I sent your coach and you a personal message. Go do your best. We're proud of you, regardless of the outcome. We know that South Walton High School uh, boys uh, went to tennis, and we are proud of you as well. Congratulations. We know, and I said this the last um, monthly update, but both South Walton High School lacrosse team, you made it to the state uh, uh, final. So well, I want to thank you. Congratulate you. Congratulate those school communities, those parents, and those students who work hard to make sure they're well-rounded. One, performing in the classroom, and then two, whatever athletic field, athletic field or venue you perform well. We're proud of you. Boys track at South Walton High School, one district. And listen to this. We have 33 individuals who are headed to regionals around Walton County. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. You've made it happen. We are proud to know that we have well-rounded students in our county that's doing great things, again, both academically, athletically, performing art-wise. You all do so many great things that I'm telling you this video could really be an hour long if I talked about everything you guys are doing uh, in, in, in the Walton County School District, but I'm proud to be able to highlight a few of those. Also, when we're talking about great things that are happening in the Walton County School District, listen to this. I want to thank to thank the Board of County Commissioners for their collaboration in this event. I want to highlight and recognize Mr. Joe Prophet. He's doing some great things at FFA. He is one of the leaders. We have FFA all over our county, many more than we had before I became superintendent. It's important to me. It's important to our teachers and our students, and we're making it happen for our community as well. And I want to say to Mr. Joe Prophet, I understand that we honor Mr. David Drake, who's a former principal and bus driver here in the Walton County School District, as well as a former superintendent. We want to say congratulations, Mr. David Drake. We recognize you. We honor you. Thank you for the work that you've done in this community all over the state. Mr. Prophet, thank you for inviting the president of the state FFA to Walton County school district. It happened at Walton High School on April 25th. We thank you for doing that. And I want to say to our Board of County Commissioners, thank you for making a proclamation that from here on out, April 25th is FFA Day in Walton County. We're going to help you make sure that that's solidified as a great day around our county and perhaps around our state, if not the world. You know how we like to be epic. We're going to make it happen. Thank you, Mr. Prophet. Thank you, FFA. Thank you for all the collaborators and stakeholders who assist with FFA. Thank all the teachers around the state, around the county in FFA. And thank you, Board of County Commissioners, for making that happen. God bless you on that. Well, listen to this. Music and pictures, always one of my favorite days. Uh, Thursday, May 4th at Freeport High School. We are proud of the community support. We are proud of the collaboration we do with the community to make this happen. Thank you for being a great part of the well-roundedness well of our students in the Walton County School District. Listen to this, we've already prepared for next year. 
I have what is called vision day meeting. I take about three days out of my schedule and I meet with every uh, district leader, some school leaders to make sure we're ready for the next year. The vision never stops. And when we arrive at certain goals within the vision, what we do is we recreate, we create new goals because we're not going to be stagnant. We're not going to rest on our laurels. We are not satisfied until it's 100% graduation, until we are number one in the state, until we remain an A plus in a high performing school district. It takes work. And I want you to understand this, your superintendent, I'm already looking forward to next year. It's going to be a greater year than ever. God bless you all. We appreciate you. See you next month.